I grew up eating apples, seeing apples, you know, getting, you know, going through the sort of the cycle of the apple tree, just living up around it. And by the time I was interested in drinking, you know, fermenting apple juice was a, was definitely a part of it. So. What was your first experience working with actually creating cider kind of, you know, in the industry? Well, I mean, I, I, you know, did a bunch of test batches in the basement and that kind of stuff. And then I worked for another cidery uh, in, in Northern Vermont. And, um, but, you know, coming down here back to my home where the, where the, the quality of the juice that we have to work with, um, a lot of people don't realize, but in New York, we have more varieties of apples than any other state in the nation. Um, you know, it made me proud to be producing cider in this region, which sort of, you know, I didn't fully realize it at the time, but like this is the premi- a premium place the premier place to be making uh, hard cider in the Northeast, the, you know, the Northern Hudson Valley. Albany in particular is centrally located, so. Why else is local sourcing so important to Nine Pin? I mean, it's our, part of our, we, you know, have a mission that we sort of base all our decisions as a company around, and that's about, it's uh, supporting New York agriculture by producing quality craft ciders and marketing as such. It's both a business philosophy, you know, part of our sort of brand and, and identity, but it's also from a, from a straight economic standpoint. It's not like more, it wouldn't be cheaper for me to to bring it in from Washington State or anything like that. You know, this is it's the it works out on all those fronts. And how do you think that I guess commitment to being local helps with loyalty among you know people around here who drink nine pin cider? The consumer at this point, I think, is educated to to the benefits of what local food and drinks mean on both the health but also the environmental impacts that kind of thing and I think that um, you know that's important for our fans for sure and it's something that's important to us as a company and me personally. Right I know you guys were the first farm cidery in New York State to open um, and what is the competition like now that it's been a few years? Uh, I mean there is there are tons of uh, farm cideries now and other cideries and New York State actually leads the nation in hard cider producers the reality is, you know, if you look at the bigger picture, we're still just a, in it, you know, a small piece of the alcoholic beverage industry. The more brands and people out there who are going through the, the really the, like the, the legwork of out there doing tastings and educating people on what cider actually is, we think it's better for, for the industry as a whole. So, yeah. And yeah. do you think Nine Pin will grow beyond the Northeast where it's kind of prominent already? No. Yeah. I, I, I don't want it to. Okay. Yeah. I, I would rather keep it local i mean that i think that our mission our sort of marketing um you know angle and and mission sort of becomes less significant the further away we go from uh you know our local area um i also want don't want to why would i want to give people access to quality new york cider outside new york i want them to come here and have to come here to drink it and make this a destination you know that i think that's a that would also be a something that would be important I mean, even with staying within the Northeast, you seem to be growing pretty rapidly. And what are some of the growing pains that come along with that? Yeah, I mean, that's, it's, every day is, is painful. We, we call it sort of the daily disaster. Um, you know, the ups and downs are just humbling, you know, they, they're crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're always just impressed and thankful for the, the amount that people are, resp- that, you know, the amount of cider that people drink. And again, given those national statistics about cider consumption, it's, it's pretty remarkable to see the growth that we have even just in within, you know, selling within the Northeast. So.